But we begin with Helene. More than 200 people are now confirmed dead across six states, making Helene the deadliest hurricane to hit the U.S. mainland since Hurricane Katrina in 2005. And survivors are now struggling to comprehend the damage that's left behind. Thank you for joining us at 430. I'm Karen Borda. Ken is on special assignment. Texas disaster relief groups are now spreading out along Helene's path. Our Jason Allen spoke with volunteers today, helping people who are now living in primitive conditions. One week after Helene started to rain down on the southeast, the landscape for some is unrecognizable. Yesterday, the gentleman said behind his house uh, that uh, he just said that used to be a tomato field. He said now it's a debris field. Farrell Foster um, spoke to us from so Jonesboro, Tennessee, people. where he's deployed with a team from Texans on Mission. They are mucking out homes and moving debris for people who have never experienced this kind of flooding disaster. He was asking, you know, will this will this be OK? I think this is going to be OK. And people people have a hard time of understanding just how water damages over time. Texans on Mission is also preparing meals, making up to 1,500 lunches and dinners today and prepared to scale that up to 4,000 by next week. More than 375 miles south, Minuteman disaster response is in Georgia. It's like this everywhere we go. We start working on homes and we have neighbors coming out saying, please help us. The McKinney-based organization is moving massive pine trees where residents are being told it could be weeks before they have power again. The cleanup is necessary, but the real heavy lifting is far more personal. The homeowner is the most important. So spend time with that homeowner. They need hope and encouragement, and that's what we're trying to do most of all. Jason Allen, CBS News, Texas.